are joined now by LVCVA President Steve Phil for our Talking Tourism segment. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Lots of conventions, of course, always in Las Vegas. Right now, there's the one, I think, with the marijuana industry up at the convention center right now. But let's talk about the expansion that's taking place. You can see all the work that's underway right now. How far along are things right now? Well, things are moving on schedule uh, and moving quickly. Uh, we are um, currently putting caissons in the ground so that the uh, facility will be supported on bedrock. There's about 600 of those that are being drilled. Um, that will be uh, done by the end of this month. Um, then we'll put slab on grade and start coming out of the ground. You'll really start seeing progress, but uh, it's moving along quickly. We've only got two years before we need to be open now, so uh, a lot of work to do, but we're uh, excited about the progress that's being made. And you guys book out like years in advance too for these spaces, don't you? Well, we had dinner with a customer last night that we were talking about uh, show times through 2038. So. Oh, 38? <laughs> wow. Yeah, we, we booked very far into the future. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, SEMA, of course, was just in town as well as the Automotive Aftermarket Products Expo. Give us a little recap for this year's. Well, that's what, you know, that's one of the most exciting, fun yeah. shows that, that we have in town uh, and also one of the largest. Yeah. It does a uh, 160,000 uh, attendees. Uh, it brings almost a quarter billion dollars to the to the destination. Um, and it was one of the largest SEMA shows we've had. Um, we're excited to have them uh, every year and I look forward to coming back again next year. Good deal. We, we could hear them from our parking <laughs> lot, the squealing <laughs> tires outside. Um, also, of course, you're involved with the Raiders Stadium Authority as well. Let's talk a little bit about the progress there. If you drive along I-15, you can see how uh, much it's gone just past the one-year milestone. It, it's uh, been a remarkable year. Uh, we broke ground uh, just a year ago yesterday, and uh, obviously you can see the progress that's <laughs> being made. Uh, that's another project that is both on time and on budget. Uh, they have done a great job of moving it forward very quickly. Uh, again, they have to be open in a little less than two years. Um, the, uh, the roof structure is a um, a real critical milestone that uh, will happen uh, in the middle of next year, uh, but uh, we're excited about the stadium and all it's bringing to the destination. Yeah, we're going to have some of the largest cranes in the world to be able to complete that roof part, right? That's yeah. going to be... It, it'll, it'll be fun to watch. Yes. <laughs> well, before we let you go today, let's talk about some airline development updates. Well, we we have a number, yeah. uh, and you know one of our focuses is to continue to uh, grow our international visitation. The world keeps getting to be a smaller place, um, and the, our airline partners are really helping with that. Um, uh, one of the big announcements was uh, KLM. Um, committing to a direct route from Amsterdam. Um, that's an important route for us because that's a, it's, it feeds all of Europe into Amsterdam and then can uh, bring all of the, those customers here to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. um, several air, airlines in Canada uh, continue to grow and continue to add routes to the destination. Uh, we're excited about that. Um, the Canadian market is one of our largest uh, international markets and um, they're continuing to add flight they continue to have interest in in coming here particularly during hockey season which is a, which is a great draw <laughs> yes it's it's nice and warm down here in Las Vegas unlike up in Calgary right now Steve thanks for coming in this morning and joining us to talk a little bit about tourism all across the valley